Hi, in this video we are going to talk about private companies and in particular the second rule relating to private companies that is the second restriction that is imposed on private companies by definition. First we need to recall that as we have already seen in the chart in the earlier video that a private company can further be divided into either an SMC that is a single member company or other private companies. So in this video when I say that the minimum number of members in a private company is two, please don't think that it's not possible to form a single member private company because it is. It certainly is possible to do so. However, there are some specific rules pertaining to the formation of single member companies. So I have created another short video on this particular topic that is this particular type of private company. In this particular video, I am going to talk about other kinds of private companies in which there is not just one single person. So there are just a few points that you need to know about these kinds of companies. First of all, the minimum number is obviously 2 and the maximum number is 50 which means that the number of members of a private company cannot exceed 50. Now this obviously raises questions as regards joint ownership. So for instance, now this obviously raises questions as regards joint ownership. So for instance, if two persons or more than two persons hold shares jointly, then in this situation the question is, as far as the counting for the maximum is concerned, are these two or more people going to be considered as one person or as two or more persons? So the rule regarding this kind of situation is that in such a situation where shares are held jointly, then those members are going to be treated as a single member only. So for instance, if A and B both hold shares jointly in a company that is a private company, then in that situation, A and B are going to be considered as jointly holding those shares and therefore A plus B are going to be considered as a single member for the purposes of the counting towards the maximum that is 50. Now another rule that you should know about as regards the maximum numbers is that this does not include employees and only and only includes members. So employees are not going to be counting towards the, this maximum limit of 50 members.